And the Snowden stories are hard. They're very technical. The documents are opaque. They're written in jargon. They're written in people who know what's going on. You have to read a hundred of them to understand one of them. And they're all, they're not in code, but they're in very dense code word jargon. And that makes them hard to report. The press reports initially, and really all throughout, tended to be about the person because the human story sold better. It was hard to write the tech stories about NSA tracking of cell phones or NSA tracking anonymity services without a human face, finding a human victim. And I think the public quickly tired of the tech. You know, while we in the community were really interested in the details, this teaches us about security, this helps us come up with defenses, this makes us design better security systems, for the public, it ended up being all the same. And the media outlets that had access to the documents were writing to the mainstream audience and not to the tech audience. That made this hard. And it, it's still hard. There are stories that are not coming out because they're too techy. And for the Washington Post, for First Look Media, for The Guardian, they're not worth publishing. So we're not going to see them. The difference has been Spiegel in Germany. They've written some very superficial stories, but have included a lot of documents that are only marginally related to the story. And there are stories in those documents that have been ferreted out in the weeks and months after by more techie publications. So that seems to be a difference. And we're still watching it happen. You know, the, the reason the Spiegel stories are so much more illuminating about NSA's activities is because the Spiegel reporters care less. They're not running what they're doing past the NSA, which the US and UK media did. And I think they are more antagonistic.